this video we will talk about imaging of various spinal tumors this is a typical example of extradural spinal tumor as you see in a diagrammatic representation the tumor is outside the dura and pushing the dura inside whereas on this you could see a vertebral mass which is pushing the dura and the spinal cord posteriorly very well seen on this titubated mri where this ventral thecal sac is obliterated it is to be noted that the most common extradural mass is metastasis whereas if you see an intramedullary extradural tumor it is present in this subarachnoid space and it causes widening of the subarachnoid space it is very well depicted here where you could see the subarachnoid space has been widened it is to be noted that the common intradural extramedullary masses are meningioma and nerve sheath tumors like neurofibroma and schwannoma if you see an intramedullary mass as you could see in the spinal cord it will cause expansion of the cord as you could see on this titubated mri there is an expansion of the cord which is an important sign of intramedullary mass please look at that the subarachnoid space is attenuated in this as well important tumors that are intramedullary include astrocytoma ependymoma and hemangioblastoma it is an important duty of a radiologist whenever we see a spinal mass we have to divide them into intramedullary intradural extramedullary and extradural masses